Welcome to the next episode of Revolutionary Talk. We're going with immune health as today's topic. I'm excited. You're excited? <laughs> right up my alley. <laughs> I'm excited. So Chris was all about this one. So we have him in here instead of Spencer. So man, immune health. <laughs> all right, let's go. <laughs> So your, your immune system, a lot of people don't understand this. You have these, these T cells and B cells, which are just really fancy ways to describe little micro things inside of you that keep you safe and protect you. But they're all coming from your thymus, which as you're a baby, your thymus is most powerful. And as you age, your thymus actually gets weaker and becomes this literally this chunk of meat just hanging out in your body that doesn't really do anything. So to compensate for that, you really have to start eating healthy and living a healthy lifestyle around age 18 to 25. I mean, that's that's what you're an expert at. As a production guy, I'm not very healthy right now. And you know, that's actually something I'm really working on because you yep. know, I started like yoga teacher training and that is make me mindful of how terrible my diet has been. Yeah, I mean, that, that's funny you bring that up. Like as people as busy as we are, I think it is kind of tough to keep up with that, which like, <laughs> You're an expert in too, and I'm curious if you have any like efficient, quick ways to keep up with immune health, keep up with things on a daily basis. Uh, yes. Well, I figured. yeah. I mean, besides, we've got the foundations of wellness. So sleeping, making sure that's in place. You know, we can do these things oh, right now, starting today. You know, making sure that we're getting plenty of sleep, six to eight hours for most people, right? We want to make sure we're getting ample water, Ooh. which that is calculated. It's recommended to drink half your body weight in ounces. So if you weigh 150 pounds, you're wanting to aim to drink at minimum, bare mm. minimum. This is just for your body to function normally. 75 milli or 75 ounces of water. That's a lot. Yeah, it is a lot. But you have 24 hours, right? You have 24 hours, but for a lot of people... That's a challenge to even drink a quarter of that sure. throughout the day. And so that's just a couple of the foundations of wellness. But then besides that, from the nutritional aspect, which is another part of it, you know, that my quick and easy tip is drinking my favorite juice in the world, the Ninja Red Juice from mm. Young Living, like hands down. Ooh, I might have stolen one of those from Spencer's fridge this morning. <laughs> <laughs> and took out the trash so you wouldn't see it. Well, there's there, there's so one up good. there. They're so good. Um, something I forgot to mention on this whole thing too was stress reduction kind of gets missed in immune health because essentially whenever, um, say you have like strep throat or something, you go to the doctor, you get a shot of cortisol, which suppresses your immune system, which keeps that inflammation down. But if you're stressed out constantly, your cortisol levels are high all day which causes you to get all this fat built on you and it weakens your immune system instantly. Mm, and then you start having health issues. Very interesting. Well, and you mentioned, you know, like fat cells and things. Mm -hmm. Toxins are stored in fat cells. Exactly. Like it's a cascade. It, it is. So if we eliminate the toxins and we're trying to lose weight, yeah. I mean, it just goes hand in hand. So it's amazing how toxins. it works. You lose weight, you get healthier and your immune system boosts. How about that? Nature <laughs> kind of knows what to do. <laughs> Yeah. So, man, they're, they're all those like deep science terms. But for the average person listening, like in myself, Ooh. how does that translate into day to day and trying to keep up with all these things? You want to start with this? Yeah, I mean, it's difficult. The simplest thing is choosing one modality or one method and mastering that one method. Then, so for instance, drink half your body weight in water for a week. You nail it, you got it. All right, let's add on a second one and let's let's start exercising 30 minutes a day and drinking, you know, half our body weight in water. So then the third week comes around, you just mastered both of those, you're starting to get bored, add another one. Continually master be a master of one, but when you master it, add a new task. Mm -hmm. And you can you can essentially just build your own method and if you're a quicker learner and quicker master, you get it you get it a lot quicker, but you know, don't get lost in the process too. Don't get stressed out trying to be healthier because that's not solving any problems. All right. Don't get lost in the sauce. Yeah. And remind yourself why you're doing it. I think that helps me because if you're thinking about, well, my body is made up of two thirds water, yeah. a healthy body, 
Like, this is why I need to do this. Because if I don't, then I might get fatigued. I might get dizzy. My eyes might feel dry. Yeah. X, Y, Z. Like, there's a long list of dehydrate. I mean, it's just one yeah. example. It's exponential. Yeah. Jeez. Yeah, there's so many cool ways we could go about showing this. So jumping into the content side, I'd love to show... Fire. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Jeez, there's so much that goes into it. But, I mean, some things that come to mind for me... Uh, Showing Kristen's like, uh, like her morning routine and, sure. and things that like get the day started off on the right foot. Little mm -hmm. tips that people can see and implement into their lives. I think you could portray almost like the uh, the sneezing cold commercials where you got the person who's sitting there with a the tissue and a blue shade looking all sad. <laughs> this is what it's like to be unhealthy or have poor immune health. And then show Kristen like going to the gym, doing some yoga, eating healthy, drinking some water, doing all these easy tasks that you can implement into your daily life. But portray it as here's the unhealthy, here's the healthy. Mm. But almost build that lifestyle so it's more attractive to the average person wanting to be fit. Nice. Okay. Yeah, that sounds good. Um, <sighs> That's a tough one, though. We'll see what happens. Yeah, you guys <laughs> check Instagram. You'll You'll find out what we went with. Um, but like what quick little tips, and I know we talked before about doing little voiceovers and things like that as you're going through your day to day, what quick tips could you offer to people in those voiceovers? Like obviously drink water. We know that one. Do you have another one that we could use? Well, it depends on how deep you want to go. Like <laughs> literally as, as deep as you want. Yeah, for sure. Hmm. What's, what's the simplest one you could think of along with the drinking the water how to because we we know from our health and wellness backgrounds you can't project at people you have to walk them to the water and then essentially say okay you want to take a drink or not but you can't right. force them the more you force them the more they shut down yeah you have to come from a place of inspiration exactly so uh, and that's where I come from. It's where I think that offering tips and tricks on things that, you know, so, I mean, if we're going to go deep, we can talk about digestion. You don't talk about that because your gut, if you don't have a healthy gut, then you're not healthy. Mm -hmm. um, so starting with elimination, you know, yeah. and making sure that all these different elimination pathways, not just your digestive system are open and working efficiently. Um, I'll give an example. Deodorants, antiperspirants. Oh. Should I just crush it real quick? And hit it. Why not? <laughs> oh, the aluminum in it is known to cause a lot of issues of the body. So if you're so the antiperspirant aspect of it, you're literally telling your body not to do its natural designed mm -hmm. process of exfoliating, and uh, cleansing, and detoxing your body where other routes that cannot detox. Yeah, it's a heavy metal, right? It's, it's a heavy it's metal. In. It blocks it slows your lymph. You down. It's yeah, heavy. It pulls and so you. it gets into your your filtration systems mm -hmm. of your lymph nodes and stuff, and then eventually those toxins build up. So, yeah. is it really worth it to use the antiperspirants? I like lavender essential oil personally. All right, so there's plenty we can use for content in this one. So we've already gone over some tips and tricks, but what's one final message say someone's really busy they're not really putting the time and effort into their health where's a good place for them to start i would say getting that water into the body mm -hmm. uh, and if it's a challenge getting a, that schedule getting you know making sure like for me i i have to have my bottle of water with me okay. anytime or else i'm just yep. like where's my water something's missing without my bottle so getting in the habit of making sure that's on you, and even if that means putting your bottle in the car in the morning, yeah. if you're leaving early the next morning and you've got a handful of things to carry out, have it in place. It's like a positive attachment. Yes. I mean, al along with that too, whatever is the path of least resistance for you, whether it be drinking water or whatever modality you can easily implement into your day without spending any more energy or stress, I think it's simply the easiest. Yeah, yeah, love it. Those are two good big takeaways. So, I mean, a great place to start. Everybody can drink more water. So, yeah, and then speak positive things to your water too, because Ooh. it'll just feed positive energy into your body. And it's you out, you're alchemizing it. It yeah. becomes a part of you. I like that. Solid. Yeah. I'll throw you one too. Dig it, dig it. <laughs> Solid hosting. 
Knuckles to y'all too. Thanks for tuning into this episode. To check out content about everything we've been discussing and immune health as a whole, go to Revolutionary Wellness on Instagram. Also, Chris, Kristen's Instagram. Both links are in the description. And thanks for tuning in. <laughs> thanks.